If this ad fails to get enough views, I, your humble voiceover artist, will be fired. And it'll be because of ad skippers like you. <gasps> How could you? How am I gonna pay for Kujo's next pedicure? <laughs> Sorry, what I did to you there was take a complex problem, like how hard it is to get people to view ads, and singled out a specific group such as ad skippers as being entirely responsible. This is a common tactic called scapegoating. Wikipedia says it comes from the Bible. Of a pair of <laughs> goats, one would be ritually sacrificed and the other, the scapegoat, would be released into the wilderness, metaphorically carrying with it people's transgressions and sins. Imagine there's an alien invasion. Some people might be tempted to use scapegoating to avoid being held responsible. But it's unlikely that a single individual, group, or goat <laughs> is solely to blame. Here's an example of scapegoating from South Park, Bigger, Longer, and Uncut. The children of South Park have started swearing prodigiously, in desperate need of someone or something to blame. The town's Parent Teacher Association finds a scapegoat. <laughs> Kids are getting worse! They won't obey their parents, they just want to fart and curse! Should we blame the government? Or blame society? Or should we blame the images on TV? No! Blame Canada! Blame Canada! For the beady little eyes and clapping heads are full of lies! Blame Canada! Blame Canada! We need to form a full assault! So if someone tries to make a complicated problem look simple by placing blame on a single group, they're most likely trying to manipulate you. Truth Labs. Blame is fine when it's fair.